What's going on, YouTube? I blended it. Turned out good. Yep. I did not put paint on this. I blended it back to here. This has no orange peel on it, man. That's fucking good. <laughs> I blew it on what the spec said. The spec says uh, 26 to 29 pounds of pressure, and I've sprayed the clear on it. 29 pounds of pressure. I think I got maybe a too big of a tip in that DeVelvis that I was using. This has a lot to do with how fast I was moving my gun yesterday. I did. This turned out perfect. Nothing wrong with it, man. I had to block it three times. Guy coat it. You know, with uh, some black can of spray paint. Like this. Just barely guy coat it, blocked it out. The flaws I was talking about in the last video was somewhere down here on the bottom. I gotta clean it up, it's got dust on it. But uh, that turned out perfect, man. I could not believe that, man. The customer didn't want to give me more paint I barely had enough paint to do what I did, but he didn't want to blend this. We went ahead and did this, just scuffed it. I did not paint this. I did not paint this. I just put clear on it, scuffed it and cleared it. I brought my paint up to here. Oh yeah, you want to explain what it is? What's this, what year is this car? Yeah, what year is this car? 66 Galaxy. 1966 Galaxy. Alright, watch out, I'm about to see. What is that? What is that? That's a 12 volt bypass? Yeah, it's a sort of a bypass, it's kind of to simulate like a. Uh Sort of an open header type situation. It's, a it's got a 12 volt motor on it. It's a it opens up the flap. That's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. That's that's awesome, dude. Yeah, it's what the customer wanted. Hey, I got one more question before you go. Uh, you like wearing on this old shit, dude? Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes I don't like Dude, using... you're getting your, put your hands on a Galaxy. You should be tickled pink, dude. That is true. He does not, he does not like welding mufflers. He wants to do paint. I like welding mufflers. I just don't like mixing the two sometimes. Really? Yeah. Well, I better get out of here for a probably get mad at me. Man, that is awesome. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Oh man, I can't get through there. It's busy around here today. Busy, busy. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? I'm just walking through, fellas. Yeah, uh, nobody's on YouTube with the ground. They all camera shy. <laughs> uh oh, son. You're gonna have to weld that, dude. We weld it. We need to weld it. Just go grab you one of them old junk ass sockets in there and weld in there and we'll stab this pin inside the socket, okay? When you get a chance. Dude, you're gonna have to get out of the customer's car, dog. It didn't, you ain't really hurt nothing, I know, but when we start getting it clean, you can't be in here. Come on out of this car. Dude, you, you clean this up pretty good, man. Uh, come on, get out of the damn car. Damn it, man. It's a good thing I don't uh, 
have a bunch of nice BMWs and stuff in here. I'm just kidding, folks. If that was to happen, just like I've had the Chevelle and a lot of nice cars over here, I don't let him get in the cars. I don't even leave the doors open. I don't even give him a chance. But something like this, y'all seen the videos. I don't think he's going to hurt this car much at all. But, dude, uh, you're getting the electrical back in, huh? And we got to put the trim back in. That looks, it's starting to look pretty nice, man. You did a good, good job on a headliner, man. It's the first one you ever done, huh? I know it was. Cause I, it's it's uh, the first, the second one I've ever done. Oh, I see you found the mirror. Well, I guess I'm going to get over here and help you out. We didn't ever find that. Huh? You did? So we need to get that one in. And I got the plastic trim that goes around here. Dude, you did pretty, you did damn good, dude. It's, it's a perfect job, man. I can't believe that. It's not, there's, uh, my son agrees with me. There's no such thing as a perfect job. Yes, there is. You just got to keep working for the perfect job. You know, I even though it would have been more perfect if you would have listened to me. Oh, so, man, I'm just saying, dude. We needed I, to hurry up and get it done. Yeah, I might have been in a hurry, but I stretched it too tight before I put it down. I should have put it down and pressed on the low spots and then brought it out to the outside. Okay, you're right. But it still looks good. And by the time you get through putting all this stuff in here, dude, if you'll just rub it, it'll stick. It's got glue on it. Okay. <sighs> it's hot, dude. Why don't we uh, put a battery in, shut the new sunroof so we ain't burning up in here. Anyway, come on, son. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wow, Danny, that's cool, dude. <laughs> I like that, dude. That is awesome. He's gonna kick a 12 volt switch in there and it's gonna open him up, Danny. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> How much did those cost, Danny? I don't know. Customer had uh, the part already. That's totally awesome. It looks good, Danny. It looks awesome, dude. Man, you do awesome work, dude. You got some good talent, bro. Wow. Oh, that is awesome. Anyways. <laughs> wow. It's like it wasn't even ever there. <laughs> I'm proud of myself on that one. It's got one little bug in it. Bug got in it. Oh well. It's time for this one to go. I don't know where over here to get it right now. Get out of my hair. Got it off? Yeah, pull it off. I'm gonna go get this other. All right, check it out. Let it, let it sit flat. No, don't worry about the fan for now. Just leave it alone. Uh, here, take the paper off. All right, now. Put the, put the paper on it.
All right, now let me go get this other piece. We'll figure out how to do that in a minute. Here. You see what I'm talking about, bro? We're just we need to put something here to hold this to hold this away from here a little bit. Like a bushing or a nut or something. <laughs> 